Rodrigo. Today we're going to read More Bears by Ken Nusbitt. Up by Troy Cummins. Once upon a time, there was a story. This story had absolutely no bears in it. Not a single bear anywhere. Then one day, more bears. What? Who said that? The author of the story looked around the room, wondering where those voices had come from. Were those the voices of children shouting? As I was saying, this story had no, absolutely no bears. The author was, the author was very certain about it, about this. More bears! The author tried very, very hard to ignore the children who thought that the story should have more bears. Fine. This story had a bear, a cute little baby bear, strung through the book, looking for more bears. Okay, okay, two bears. Happy now? A cuddly, waddly little baby bear named Mr. Fluffy. And his mama bear, Stella, who always wore a yellow hat like all bears. Stella and Mr. Fluffy were especially fond of more bears. Stop that. How many bears do you want this story to have? Do you really think there should be a papa bear named Captain Picklehead and a bear named Uncle Sheldon who love to play the ukulele? You do? Wow, why didn't you say so? In that case, the author suddenly decided that this story really needed more bears. Yes, 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 more bears. So the author added Astro Bear, who always kept a hamster in his pocket. Just in case. And then the three more bears named Lester, Chester, Esther, and Floyd. Wait, that's four. Oh, well, four is okay. Because after all, this story really needed more bears. It really mm, it needed a bear named Lucky Eddie who juggled carrots and a bear named Elbow who always wore his underpants on on the outside of his regular pants. And since this probably wasn't enough, the author added even more bears. The author added one bear flying across the page in a cape. Two bears reading cockmate. Books. Three bears swinging through trees like monkeys. An entire team of firefighting bears running across the page with party balloons. There 
were bears hanging from the top of the page. Bears sleeping in the corners, standing on top of other bears. There were so many bears that they couldn't all fit on the page. It was crowded, so crowded that some bears started pushing other bears off of the page, which made the author grumpy. And when authors get grumpy, they start changing the story. In fact, this author. Was so grumpy, he told all the bears to leave, and they did. Finally, the author had a story with not a single bear anywhere, just the way he wanted. It, because you see, the author was quite certain that this story should absolutely more chickens. Thank you for watching more beers.